What is going on guys? Welcome back to James's RC Garage. Today we're on the outdoor course doing a little pre-run of some of the new obstacles that I've put in and we're gonna run the Bronco for the first time on the outdoor course. So let's get her going. Hopefully the wind isn't too bad. It's a little overcast, nice and cool today, about 70 for the high. That piece of log that you see there with the red on, that's one of the newer obstacles. Down into the hole. All right, we climbed out of that pretty good. Get over the rock. All right, let's pick a pick a better line here, James. Okay. Now, let's see if we can. Climb up the new section. Oh, yeah, once the front tire is hooked, you're good. Come down into the another pit. Turn around. And then, then now where the Bronco is going through, I think I'm going to put a like a frame twister type obstacle in there. And then uh, the rock garden will get finished out with some bigger rocks and stuff. And then you come alongside that pit, climb over them rocks. And then, come down onto the cement, come up to the sand pit, oh, don't mind my Monster Hydra there, I totally forgot that that was there. Oh, right, let's line that up a little bit better. Take two. Yeah, there we go. Come on. Get them front tires to bite. Woo! Wind almost knocked me over. Hopefully the wind doesn't sound too bad and yells in the microphone. Scooters aren't too bad today. Ooh, oh no! And we got a rollover. Got it to there. And then I'll make some obstacles for the sandbox here, for the sand pit. I'm kind of letting some of the vegetation grow in so we can make some actual trails in here. I took the garden weasel and kind of tilted it up a little bit. Oh, really? Wow. Oh, that back end wants to dig now. I did change the suspension on the rear to a little bit softer spring in the rear, so. 
Okay, so once these tires get kicked full of sand, <laughs> they are done for. Oh, hand to God. And I even packed all this sand down with my hand, so it's really weird that it's not. Uh... Come on, baby. We're just digging in into the rear here. Alright, course modification. Gators in the face. Just wants to dig, man. Right in that same spot. Alright, let's see here. Let's pack that sand in there. So it doesn't dig as much. Full speed. Had to pack a little bit more sand into there. All right. So as you can see, the back end does flex a little bit better than it used to. And it's actually got some of a bounce now. But we still have our tip over point. So still got to add a little bit more weight down low. And... Uh, see if we can't get our weight ballast a little bit better <clears throat> between the upper weight and the lower weight right now I do not have anything weighted on the bottom of the Bronco at all just the trio rims KYX shocks trio high clearance links Um, we got weight in the front with the bumper, on, with that Enjora bumper, but, uh, not too much weight there with the side steps, the KYX side steps, but, yeah, all in all, we loosened up the springs in the rear. I do have wheel weights that simulate brake discs from Trio. On the waiting list so those will be going in there in place of the uh, what are those like four or five millimeter hexes I'm not sure but uh, yeah so we'll have black simulated brake rotors in there from Trio uh, those are plus four I do believe if I read it correctly so yeah, and then um, we'll give her another shot, and uh, maybe I'll get some Baja Pro X's for the outdoor course. Get another set of trails with uh, the weighted brass rings, and go from there with that. On the Baja Pro X's and we'll just uh, swap tires for indoor course and outdoor course but uh, yeah that's the run with the Bronco first run with the Bronco on the outdoor course that is not completed yet 
And as always, guys, thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, and share. And we will talk at you next time. Peace.